We're here at the Lakefront Hotel in the Reinton Ballroom where the Iditarod Air Force is going over all of their procedures, safety mechanisms and so on. The FAA is here, so we're going to take a look at that and go over all the things that they have to do. they got 40 people in there and they're going over all the regs, safety that they have to adhere to, just like a regular airline. Well, tonight was our mandatory meeting that we have to have every year, mandated by our exemption status with the FAA, and we have uh, certain items we had to go over with there. I've been with the Iditarod, this is my 35th year with the Iditarod, uh, with the Air Force, and I actually physically ran the race in uh, two times, 1990 and 93. So I've been in on the ground and in the air. We are the only one in, in this status that has this, uh, this type of an exemption. We're kind of unique in the way that it was all put together because we put it together. We were not mandated by the FAA or told by the FAA what to do. We put everything together. And then they went over all of our stuff. But safety is our number one issue. And we, we, we tell everybody, if you don't like it, don't go. We have never, ever forced anybody to take a flight, we're not out to push the envelope. We're out to have fun and be safe about it. So. so we've heard from Bert Hansen a little bit about what's going on here and why they have these meetings before the race, which really the pilots will start flying out like right away today to start loading stuff up. There'll be a big fly in in Willow this weekend. So take a look, watch out. We'll give you some more information later. I'm Rob Stapleton for your Alaska Aviation Link.